Hey, is this thing on? Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you saw the title, you may be like, what in the world is she talking about? What is effervescence? Well, fun fact, I actually used to be a science teacher, and one of my favorite things to teach was about chemical reactions, and effervescence is actually a chemical reaction, which is described as the formation of bubbles. And that has actually stayed with me, and my friends will be like, oh, here she is again with this effervescence talk, because I always say, listen, you've gotta have effervescence. Trust me, I'll explain, but honestly, I feel like having effervescence has helped me so much in a ton of different areas of my life, so of course, I had to make a video about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss effervescence. What is it and how do you get it? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the scientific definition is the formation of bubbles. But effervescence can also be described as vivacity and enthusiasm. And honestly, that's more so how I use the word today. But I do want to go back to the scientific definition for just one moment. Think about bubbly things. Sparkling water. Soda. A bubble bath. I have not met one person who does not love a good bubble. You can't explain why, but bubbles are just exciting and they're fun and they draw you in. That is effervescence. So now if we're thinking of it in the literal term where I'm speaking about it in the sense of it being a part of you of your personality, having effervescence really relates to your presence and the vibe or aura that you give off when you walk into a room. So being vivacious, enthusiastic, optimistic, positive, whatever that is, it's like this shining light that people are drawn to and that helps you stand out. So I like to use my husband and how we met initially as an example when I talk about having effervescence. Yes, I did all of the external things. My hair was done, I had on makeup, outfit was cute and on point, I had a fresh mini petty, all of those things. And I'm not saying those things are not important, because you know, I am definitely a girl's girl and I'm like, yes, always try to look your best, look polished, put your best self forward. But as great as those things were, my husband didn't look at me and say, wow, I really like her nails or her manicure. No, yes, that was part of the full package of what made me stand out to him, but overall it was the presence and the aura that I had when I walked into the room. Something about me stood out and he was like, ah, oh, she's interesting. He didn't want to marry me because I had on a cute necklace. He wanted to marry me because of my effervescence, or at least I'd like to think so. So with effervescence, I want you to keep in mind that feeling of like, wow, it just cannot be explained, but something about them draws me in. And the thing about that person that's drawing you in could very well be their effervescence. Now, this isn't just important in relationships. It's also important in your career, in your business endeavors, and in how you interact with other people in general. You want to display your effervescence and really highlight the amazing things about you that make you unique and help you to stand out. So now the question may come up, well, what if I'm someone who just doesn't naturally have that thing if I don't just have effervescence? Well, let's think back to the beginning. It is a scientific term. It's a chemical reaction, which means it is something that you can create. You can work, you can put things together to make this chemical reaction occur. And it's the same way that it works literally in the sense of you gaining effervescence as part of who you are. You can do things to create effervescence, to gain effervescence, and to help exude effervescence in your everyday life. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing 10 different ways that you can exude effervescence on your journey to self-improvement. The first thing is to be mindful of how you enter a room. This is your first impression. So lead with confidence, stand up straight, make sure you have good posture and that you are engaging and speaking to everyone. You never know who is in that room and you don't want to ever seem like you have this air about you or you think that you're better. There's a difference between being confident and conceited and it's a very thin line sometimes as far as how other people can perceive you. So 
always speak to everyone. Even if you're like, oh, well, this person has nothing to do with what I'm here for. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go into deep, long conversations, but always speak and be kind and polite. The second thing is to lean into your natural personality. People can tell when you're being fake or if you're not being true to yourself or if you're like putting on airs and it can make you seem distrustful. So if there's something about you that's unique, share that with others. If you're funny, let yourself be funny. Don't hold back on those little pieces of your personality just because you're worried about how other people are going to react. If those are the things that make you feel comfortable and confident, share that with the world. The third tip is to focus on your presence. People should be able to tell that you have a good relationship with yourself, that you have gone on your self-love journey if necessary, and that you're happy and you're pleased with you, which means that you're not easily rattled or caught up in anything else that's going on around you because you're so focused on living the life of your dreams and doing things that are important to you that all those outside factors just do not matter and they're not necessary. So have that presence about yourself where someone knows like, wow, I can tell she is truly, genuinely happy. She loves herself, she's confident and she's comfortable and she really just has that thing. And that is where the effervescence comes in. My fourth tip is do not shrink back. If you have special qualities, if you're really good at something, showcase that, highlight that. I'm not saying you should always go around being like, hi, I'm Amber and I'm really good at X, Y, and Z. But when you know that you're good at something and you showcase that naturally and organically as opportunities arise, then you really don't even have to say a lot. So don't feel like, oh, I'm being too much or people are gonna feel like I'm tooting my own horn. If you're good at something, don't hide that let that shine through and the fifth tip is do not overdo it especially if you're in a new situation or environment where you feel like oh this is different or maybe i am different and i don't want people to perceive that i'm different don't start adapting to the other people around you or conforming to the environment just because you feel like you should Again, lean into that naturalness of who you are. Because if you're overdoing it, it's gonna seem very insincere or potentially like you're disinterested and that is not something that is going to appeal to others. My sixth tip is to work the room. So if you are at an event or a party, don't just stay to yourself and isolate and sit in a corner or only talk to the people that you know. Other people can really tell a lot about you from the way that you're like working a room, the conversations that you're having with others, the way that you're engaging people. All of that can definitely stand out. You also don't want to seem like if you're kind of sitting to yourself and isolating that you are being judgmental or that you don't want to be there because that is definitely how it could come across. Even if you're like, oh, I'm just shy or I wasn't really sure what to say, just say something. It's okay. Go around, strike up conversations with different people. You never know whose perspective you could really enjoy just having those engaging and natural conversations. My seventh tip is to be thoughtful. If there is something that you feel like you want to say that does not need to be said and that could be harmful or maybe may not be as tactful, take a moment and think about it and ask yourself, is this necessary for me to share right now? You want to be someone who people are excited to spend time with, who they feel comfortable around because they know that you're not going to demean them or make them feel less than or feel like they cannot be themselves around you. So definitely before you say something, always think about it and just go through the process of thinking, is this going to be unnecessarily offensive? You do not want to intentionally offend people when it's something that could have been avoided. Because remember, while you may be like, hey, I'm in this place of effervescence, this is what I think, this is who I am, I'm exuding this confidence, other people may not quite be there yet. And so something that you say that you may feel is just like, oh, like a little thing that I wanted to share or something that I noticed I wanted to mention can definitely come across as harmful or hurtful to others. So you just wanna take a moment and always try to be as thoughtful as possible. 
And the eighth tip is to use your body. So you wanna do things like gesture, the way that you're sitting, the way that you're standing, the way that you're holding your arms. All those things can be a piece of helping you exude your effervescence. The way that you move, that you interact, makes you special, it makes you unique. So start to feel comfortable in your body and express that in the way that you interact with others. There's a freeness that comes from that comfortability within yourself and that is going to shine through instantly and add to that formation of bubbles. Number nine comes to the way that you are dressed. So dress in a way that accentuates your favorite parts of yourself and also that shows your personality. Clothing is a great way to showcase different pieces of who you are without having to say much. So really take a moment to figure out what your personal style is. Switch it up, try new things, but whatever it is, make sure that you feel comfortable and confident in that and you can walk into a room and own it because you know that you look good and you're happy with the way that you're presenting yourself to the people who you're meeting. And my 10th tip is that smiling goes a long way. Now do not take this in an offensive way as in if someone was saying you need to smile more. But what I mean is smiling naturally and genuinely. So on my channel, I talk a lot about things like finding peace and inner joy and self-love and going on a journey to become a more competent person. Once you do those things, you are going to be genuinely happy internally. And that is going to naturally pour out of you. It's not like you're gonna have to be forcing a smile. It's really like, I am happy, things are going well in my life, I am reaching my goals, I see the potential, I see the progress that's being made from all the work that I'm putting in. And that makes me feel joyous. And so yes, I'm going to smile, I'm going to laugh, I'm going to have positive interactions with others. So definitely take the steps to where you are just someone who is happy and it's flowing from you and out into the world for other people to genuinely be able to see. That is when you have truly reached effervescence. So these are just a few tips to help you get started on your journey to becoming an effervescent woman. I personally feel like I have a lot of effervescence and that is one of the things that I love about myself because I feel comfortable and confident to show up in a room and allow my presence to be known because I know my worth and I know what I bring to the table and I am just focused on enjoying my life, building the life of my dreams and that comes across very organically in all different types of situations and environments. So I hope you enjoy starting your journey to effervescence. Go form some bubbles. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.